Alrighty, what's up guys, I'm Aldo here. So I wanted to give you guys an update on the market. Bitcoin has now hit 66K. We continue our ascent upward. This is um, being recorded a little after New York Open. I think it's about 10.13 a.m. Eastern time. So these are the latest trades over on JumpX right now, doing very well. Um, you do see my stop loss NEF, a little bit of a freebie. But overall, this um, account started with about 20K a couple weeks ago, like two weeks ago or something. 34K right now, which I'm really proud of. And if you guys are interested in all, all these trades I entered, if you guys are interested in them, when they happen, stop losses, entry points, take profits, link is in description below um, for the Discord if you want one free month. If you sent the JumpX, Bybit, um, or Blowfin down below, deposit at least 100 bucks, it can be one free month in the Discord, just open the support ticket with your UID. Now let's get into the analysis right here. The um, wild, you know, uh, you know, market stars are aligning that one once every four years, four year cycle thing is happening. We're about to hit this linear spiral line right here, 66K, which could be, you know, a speed bump. I mean, it's not impossible for it to, I kind of don't, I don't think this will happen, but it's not impossible to do this again. But I kind of think when you look at money flow, when you look at, what a lot of this market is doing, you know, at the moment, I, I do think that we can continue forward um, a bit, most likely. And looking at that two week green dot is good. Um, what we got to keep in mind, though, is the logarithmic spiral lines, which I think are a little bit more powerful. And, you know, this previous high right here, right around, you know, 70K, 69K, that could be where we finally see a rejection. And it would kind of coincide with these kind of trigger waves, you know, VWAP going down, money flow coming out. On the five day, that's kind of forming to potentially um, bring us downward after that. Um, maybe, you know, after that jump up, you know, everybody's saying green October. What if it, it tends to be a mildly red October back to 60K, back to 54K? Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen. I do think the two week, you know, if we look at the two week green dot, I mean, that, that doesn't happen too often. The last time this happened was, you know, that green dot there, you came up quite a bit. I mean, that's your case for you know, coming up higher. That's your case to, I don't know, come up to 90K or something. Um, when you look at the four-year cycle, though, um, the earliest, so here's where we made our for our new high last time. It was around December 2020. So if you go inside with that, it is possible. You know, it is possible to make that, that new all-time high earlier. Now, the other thing, too, if you want to get really bullish, and I, you know, who knows what could happen here. Let me just show you Bitcoin versus the DXY. Now, the theory here that I wanted to show you guys in terms of, I think I drew it in the right areas where you kind of made, okay, so this is kind of where we are in the cycle, you know, right here, that September area, the same thing here, August, September of 2016, we're almost in October now, time goes by, but that new all-time high was May of 27, or actually, let's see, yeah, right around April, May of 2017, so that, in the first cycle, that'd be April or May of next year. This one was sooner though, maybe the pattern is sooner, December of, of 2020. Um, that was many months before, about you know a few months before. Maybe it's a couple months before that where we come up in November. Now, a lot of possibilities. I don't exactly know, but we'll see what happens. We'll absolutely have to see what happens here. I, I think there's got to be at least somewhat of a scare with the you know with the rate cuts or whatever. Maybe you reject off a of 70k bad employment data or something. Um, I didn't see what the inflation report was. I got to look at that. I forgot that was coming out. Uh, I'm not sure. I think it already came out. It probably came out very recently. But anyway, in terms of what I'm looking at right now, lower time frames, I think you got a good shot of breaking above 66 and getting it into that 69, 70K, which is the big place that we really want to look at. Moving on to Ethereum right now. So Ethereum is looking good. You know, trigger wave right here over on the two week, you know, trying to continue upward. I think generally you're going to see a more extended version of this on the macro a much more extended version of some situation like this. You know, we really extend this, um, you know, to those areas. I mean, just an estimate of where we could end up from peak or something, you know, somewhere between probably 6K to 8K, I would guess. I mean, 10K is not impossible. Oh, this is too, too extended, excuse me. I thought we were in, I extended this way too much. So I, I think you would keep the four-year cycle in terms of peaking out sometime in, you know, later 25. 7,500, I think, is a good point. You know, if it's just a slight new all-time high, 6 to 8K, that's kind of my, somewhere in between there and there is pretty likely. Anyway, so 
you know, looking at this money flow, looking good in your three day, but the same kind of, oh, it's actually a little bit different. I was about to say the same kind of things looking like on Bitcoin as Bitcoin five day with that VWAP comes down. So we come up a little bit more. Your big place is 2,800. Say Bitcoin goes up to 70K, ETH is at 2,800. That's where you could potentially reject from the spider line. Maybe early to mid October, you see that rejection, you come down. But as of right now, I think you got a little bit more. Macro too, you know, you're still in this large kind of higher low that we made. If you break above that, you got to target all the way at 3,400. Maybe that's an end of the year goal, early next year, what we could look at. Um, so yeah, and then looking at these time frames over here, this is a reverse head and shoulders forming short term. If you can break up from that, I've been looking at this for a minute now, you know, that's spiral line 2800 in between the spiral line and this, this line right here, 2800, that big area. So huge area. See those lows right there? That's a big area that you could potentially reject from. Huge area that you could potentially reject from here. That's ETH. Bullish right now. We'll see what happens as we test those big areas. ETH versus Bitcoin. You could be getting there. This thing is always, you know, in the recent times, has always kind of disappointed us um, against Bitcoin. Green high and ashy candle, I would hope, gives us something on that weekly. Maybe not, though, but I think it might. Um, bull div right there in that two-week potentially. Uh, trying to jump up a little bit. Trying to jump up a little bit here. So, yeah, there's that possibility. And yeah, a little trigger wave situation there. Yeah. For me on this six hour ETH versus Bitcoin, but yeah, there's a possibility here. It doesn't look as good as I'd like it to look, but I think you could be getting to that point where things are really starting to bottom out um, against Bitcoin. Others versus Bitcoin is important to look at. It's looking damn good here. I mean, your two week bull div that's playing out that could be the bottom for it. It's something it generally out trends upward against Bitcoin, it generally goes upward against Bitcoin. You consolidation a lot, then you broke upward. Long consolidation, what would most likely happen next? You break upward. That's, oops, not like that, but <laughs> like this. So that's what I'm looking at here. Yep. Anyway, if we look at some of the old favorites, Solana, Trigger Wave on the weekly, I think that could bring you up a little bit more, at least. This is the big area that we're looking at, 163. Bitcoin, 68, 69K. Solana, probably 165. That's far line. Somewhere in between these two areas is looking big. Um, you know, some of the altcoin pairs, Cardano versus Bitcoin, trying to form a bull div on that monthly, that could definitely mark the bottom. If you make a higher low for Cardano versus Bitcoin, this could do some serious stuff. That's important to keep an eye on um, right now. I don't know. I always, in terms of other coins, I like to look at Matic. Big area, trying to jump off of. I mean, this could be a one of those trades where you kind of just hold this for a while and just try to, you know, let it ride. You know, see what happens. Stop loss below there. You know, write it up to 75 cents maybe. I don't know. Try to hold it a while. You know, write it up to infinity. I don't know. Low risk, high reward here. Low risk, high reward. You know, that's pretty much all the things I've been looking at right now. If we look at, you know, just traditional markets quickly. Sometimes I like to look at the Q, triple Q here. Tr approaching all-time highs. I think you got a good shot at making new all-time highs. Mm, maybe by the end of the, well... We all then the month ends like into the weekend, maybe early October, making those new all-time highs, breaking upward into election, maybe. <laughs> we'll see what happens. Treasuries, eh, I think these will kind of roll over and continue kind of downward, um, depending on inflation data and all that. And you do have a deep anchor wave right there on the weekly first time that's happened since. Interesting. I would argue it would probably play out like this or like, you know, one of these just chop around and break downward. Probably not like that where, you know, probably not like a bottom signal there. So, yeah, um, interest rates will probably be, you know, another cut in November, 25 basis points, then another cut in December, another 25 basis points down. Really good environment for all coins to start doing well, especially against um, Bitcoin, especially against Ethereum, you know. <laughs> I don't know, take it as you will, ApeCoin versus Bitcoin, um, not the monthly, but two-week bull div confirmed, some rare bullish signs, that's what we're looking at right now, anyway guys, that's all the updates I have for you right now, if you guys are interested in the Discord, check out the, the link down below, um, 
And uh, if you want one for a month, obviously, you know, check out the links down below for the exchanges, Jumpbacks, Blowfin, Bybit. If you sign up to any of those and deposit at least 100 bucks, it'll give you one free month in Discord. So check all that out, guys. Smash the like button. Always appreciate you guys. Have a good one. Goodbye.